All right, so we have a little application, um, and what we want to do here, we have a page where we can choose a job for an employee. Um, after the job field, there's a bonus field. Now, we only want to show the bonus field if the job is manager. Okay, so if someone chooses employee or temp employee, we don't want to show the bonus field. So how do we do it? Okay, so you might want to write a few things on the side note. So one of them is what's actually the ID of this field. Okay, so to figure this one out, you can go over to your data designer, business object, okay, um, sorry. and then you're looking at the employee object and the fields and the field that is actually called a job, okay, is actually the ID for it is ref to job. And this is because this is a lookup field. This is why it shows up as a list. So let me copy this name and I'll put it over here for now, okay? Um, another thing you would want to know is in the UI designer, okay? So in the UI designer for each one of the fields now, over here we have a component ID, okay? So for example, when I'm standing on the bonus field, this is the component ID. So let's copy this one, okay? And we'll write it over here as well, okay? And you would see that each one of the fields has a different component ID, okay? So this is, for example, the combo box. Let's copy this one as well. All right. So now what we need to do is we need to somehow listen to this event of changing the value in the list and then influence what we show here. Okay. So to do this, we need to mess up with the HTML of the page and we actually have a nice way to do it with a custom component. So I'm gonna bring a custom component over here and the custom component has HTML in it, has a model and it also relies on the generated page model that we see here, okay? So one more thing that you would need to copy is from this generated page model, okay, if you scroll down, at some point you'll see something called observable. Oops, sorry, scrolled a little bit too much. Here's the observable. And what you want to copy here is this thing, okay? Um, it also appears here. Um, amp entity detail arch type. Now, this is the name for my page simply because the object I'm working with is amp. This is the name of the business object. In your page, it's going to be a little different. So copy this name, okay? And this is the first thing that we would paste over here. Okay, so now we're actually going to get to put in the code that would listen to the event, and then react to it, okay? So what we have here, like these lines, uh, which you will find on my blog, are the lines that actually implement a listener for the event, and then respond to it, okay? So the first line actually creates the page model, basically looking at the page model that is defined um, over here. And then we're going to create a listener, okay? Looking at the page model into the observable, and then we need the name of our observable for this page. And in our case, this is this part. So we're going to take this one and replace whatever is in here with this, okay? Then we're looking for an item, and then we need the name of the item, okay? So again, we're looking for um, the list item uh, which is this ref to job. Yeah, put it here. And then we're subscribing to a single select event on it. Then we're going to look at what the value is. Okay, so again, if we look over um, into our business objects here, We have the various jobs. This is the list of value. And if you look at the data, there are one, two, three values here. Manager is value two, and one and three are the other values, okay? So we only want to show the field if we selected the manager, okay? So number two. So let's go back to our code over here, and we'll say if the value is two, okay? Then here we have, um, 
jQuery expression that looks up our field that we want to manipulate. So in our case, this is the currency field here. So we'll copy the ID of the field and we'll paste it here after the hash sign. Okay. And if it's two, we actually want to show it. Um, sorry, not uppercase, it's lowercase. Otherwise, we want to hide this field. Okay. So this is our listener and the reaction to the changing of the value if it's two or if it's changing to something else, and then we dispose of this listener, okay? Now we can copy this code, okay? And go into the page designer, into our custom component, okay? And we're going to use the model for this custom component. You'll see there's a use strict, and there we're defining the custom component view model, and then param and page view model, okay, over here, and we actually want to paste it after this um, page view model, okay, um, now we have two lines because I also copied this line, we don't need it, so we have the listener, okay, the reaction, and the disposing of the listener. Now we can click apply, okay, and let's run the page, okay, so we'll switch for a second to be an employee or temp no manager okay this doesn't seem to work so let's look at the code we have Oh yeah, we forgot here to change the second line to match the first line. Okay. Like that. And we'll click apply. Let's run the page. Okay, try it again. Employee would hide the field. Manager would show the field. And temp employee would also hide the field. Um, if you don't want to see the hello from custom component here, just go back to your page, okay? And in the template, you can remove, um, for example, this part, or basically the whole part, and click apply, okay? Component is still here. If you run the page, so it still says custom component, so we'll actually want to say H1, for example, H1, apply, now it's an empty area, and then we run it, and it's not showing up, but the functionality still exists. And that's basically it.